A question of character. Oh, say can you see? The missile! President Michael Wilson wants to party. Let's party! President Michael Wilson is the president. I'm the president. And not only is he the president, he's the 47th president, but also the first president with a mech. Whoa. That's what I said, Jody. Jody. Jody is President Michael Wilson's trusted secretary, providing useful operation strategies. And as Jody always says, believe in your own justice. And Michael Wilson's justice is just this. Bullet facials! President Michael Wilson must eliminate America's army, which is his army, as well as America's incredible armored vehicles, which are his incredible armored vehicles. He must destroy his land, which is his land, but he will goodly destroy it. You have been safely destroyed, Chicago. President Michael Wilson does not require praise for his murder. He's just doing his job as president. I'm just doing my job as president. And that job is piloting a secretly developed special mobile armored ops power suit to take back America's freedom against America's most evil terrorist itself. Vice President Richard Hawk. Richard! Correct but also Hawk. Crush campaign billboards. President Michael Wilson fights not only Richard Hawk's vice presidential coup d'etat, but also his ideologies. This is bad news for President Michael Wilson, literally. DNN reporter Peter McDonald. Peter McDonald offers salacious spins on President Michael Wilson's actions via Heli Chopper, deeming him public enemy number one, and gratefully exaggerating his missile punch utilization. Suck! My missile punch! Lies! For one, President Michael Wilson does not have a missile punch. For two, you certainly could not suck it, but you can suck bullets or die trying. But one element that does not die is the enemy's undying devotion to Vice President Richard Hawk until they die. Ah, how stupid! Correct. It is stupid to defect from good justice. And President Michael Wilson provides good justice in explosive ways, bazooka ways, multi-missile launcher ways, railgun and flamethrower ways. President Michael Wilson will walk right up to you and blow out your rogue-minded patriotical brains. President Michael Wilson loves maniacal speeches. Hey, Mr. Newsman, you rang? President Michael Wilson does not love slaying his former commanders, but he must, formerly holding the rank of major in the good U.S. Army. He is adept in mechanized arms. Using powered boosts, President Michael Wilson shall pick up your tank and feel nothing of it. Whatever. When President Michael Wilson runs out of guns, he shall have scientists develop new ones, which are massive. President Michael Wilson goes akimbo with four sets of weaponry to choose from, becoming a veritable army of himself, traveling the world with the pseudo-amphibious Air Force one, launching from underwater. But speaking of water, President Michael Wilson's powered armor is vulnerable to water and shall explode. Therefore, he must only receive damage from actual weaponry instead of nature's. The powered armor contains shielded fuselage that allows for a generous amount of damage. But President Michael Wilson does not intend on taking damage. President Michael Wilson intends on dealing it, taking back the entire nation coast to coast, destroying America's wondrous landmarks, finally heading back to the Fight House. Uh, I mean, Fight House. President Michael Wilson will save the White House from the Fight House. And although his battle against Richard Hawke's army by himself may seem insurmountable and or pointless, President Michael Wilson believes that nothing is pointless because I'm the president of the great United States of America. Power. Excellent. President Michael Wilson's powered armor has an impressive array of weaponry and for some reason handguns. Regardless, justified death 
may come in many flavors. And President Michael Wilson is always ready to provide a taste test. Defense. Excellent. President Michael Wilson's powered armor has energy plus shields to keep him safe. With only high-powered mech lasers or gigantic plunges being his greatest danger. Oh, and of course water. Agility. Excellent. The powered armor moves surprisingly well, considering it surely weighs in the range of tons. But booster jets allow for sufficient evasive tactics. And to be fair, a sprinkle of President Michael Wilson's crazy also helps it move as well. Grade A. Richard Hawk ironically hates America and its fat people. So he'll kill Americans to create a new America. But President Michael Wilson loves America and its fat people. So he'll kill Americans to keep the old America. But only the bad ones. Therefore, there lies only one crucial action for America's citizens. Don't ask what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do to avoid being killed by your president. Next episode. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your anchor like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into question. Return every Monday for more. A question, question. of oh, character. character.